back to me with all your heart. Don't let fear keep us apart. Trees do bend, though straight and tall, so must we to others call. Long have I waited for your coming home to me and living deeply our new life. Well, I'm taking a few days off, and this is my puppy Mickey, who might be visiting with us for the next couple of sessions. But even though I'm away from the parish, it is never, we never take a vacation from prayer. So it might be a little difficult as I'm using different equipment and I'm not in the chapel. But I'm sitting in a chair that was from the church of my baptism, St. Salomea, which was on 118th and Indiana Avenue in Chicago. And this chair is well over 100 years old. And so feel honored to be able to sit in this chair. Good boy. And so as we continue our prayers together, as we celebrate today on the first week of Lent, on this Thursday, let us gather in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Friends, the Lord be with you. We gather today again giving thanks to God for the many gifts that he has given us for the gift of life, for the gift of Jesus, for the gift of this Lenten season, which allows us to take an honest look at our lives so that we may be changed. And so today, let us cry out for mercy. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Christe eleison, Christe eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Let us pray. Loving God, as we walk this Lenten journey, as we walk this restless journey with Christ, we follow him. To Calvary. We follow him where we will abandon ourselves to our sinful nature and so that we may rise with him on Easter morn. We ask you to help us to journey, to help us to be faithful, to use these traditional disciplines of prayer, fasting, and almsgiving. And as always, we make our prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Esther. Queen Esther, seized with mortal anguish, had recourse to the Lord. She lay prostrate upon the ground together with her handmaids from morning until evening, she said. God of Abraham, God of Isaac, and God of Jacob, blessed are you. Help me, who am alone and have no help but you, for I am taking my life in my hand. As a child, I used to hear from the books of my forefathers that you, O Lord, always free those who are pleasing to you. Now help me, who am alone and have no one but you, O Lord my God. And now come to help me, an orphan. Put in my mouth persuasive words in the presence of the lion and turn his heart to hatred for our enemy so that he and those who are in league with him may perish. Save us from the hands of our enemies. Turn our mourning into gladness and our sorrows into wholeness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, on the day I called for help, you answered me. Lord, on the day I called for help, you answered me. I give thanks to you, O Lord, with all my heart, for you have heard the words of my mouth. In the presence of the angels, I will sing your praise. 
I will worship at your temple and give thanks to your name. Lord, on the day I called for help, you answered me. Because of your kindness and your truth, for you have made great above all things your name and your promise. When I called, you answered me. You built up strength within me. Lord, on the day I called for help, you answered me. Your right hand saves me. The Lord will complete what he has done for me. Your kindness, O Lord, endures forever. Forsake not the work of your hands. Lord, on the day I called for help, you answered me. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. A clean heart create for me, O God. Give me back the joy of your salvation. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, the one who seeks finds, and the one who knocks, the door will be opened. Which one of you will hand his son a stone when he asks for a loaf of bread, or a snake when he asks for a fish? If then you who are wicked know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your heavenly Father give good things to those who ask him? Do to others whatever you would have them do to you. This is the law and the prophets. My brothers and sisters, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I think that the prophet Esther, as we heard from the book of Esther, I must feel that this is the way some of the people in the Ukraine must be feeling today or during this terrible invasion of their country. And Esther cries out to God, now help me who am alone and have no one but you, O Lord my God. It is terrible as we watch these events unfold as they unfold before us, as we watch it in the media, and we just think of the violence that is happening, and we see the loss of innocent human life. We see aggression. We see almost a total disregard for life, the gift that God has given us. And I know our first response is always that somehow we must come to people's aid and we all feel helpless. Now, I am not an expert in geopolitical um, policy or um, politics. So I know that certain things that our nation may want to do may cause far greater harm. And so all of us probably sit here and we wonder, what can we do? And I think that the gospel today tells us what we must do. And you know, it may seem simple, but Jesus says, ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find, not give the door will be opened to you. And I think that what we need to do is to pray. We need to pray for the people in the Ukraine, for those who are fleeing their homelands and those going to other nations to find refuge. That the world may come to their aid in any way. You know, we should also pray for the Russian people, for many of them are people of goodwill who are against what their government is doing. And of course, what happens is that they're silenced. They're put into prison. And we don't know what else. And we must pray for the conversion of those aggressors. 
that the Lord will touch their heart. And you know, Jesus can touch any heart. As long as we pray, as long as we intercede, as long as we believe that God can help us, I think God is looking for our faith, the faith in the midst of crisis, that we don't doubt, we don't wonder, but we trust. I invite you then to continue to pray the rosary each and every day and ask for our Blessed Mother's intercession, the Queen of Peace, and that she will intercede for the world and that God will allow peace to reign among us. And let us trust all our needs to God let us offer our petitions to him. We pray for Holy Mother Church. May the Lord continue to bless her and to protect her from all evil. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our world leaders. May they be strengthened by the Holy Spirit in working to protect all human life. We pray for the people in the Ukraine. We pray for those seeking refuge, those who welcome them, for those who need safety. We pray for the good souls in Russia, and we pray for the conversion of hearts of those who perpetuate this violence. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our nation, may we also have the greatest respect for human life. From that very moment of conception until natural death, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our community of faith, May God's grace help us in responding to Jesus, his call to participate in building the kingdom of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the sick and for all who care for them. May they feel God's healing and fortifying power. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, for the souls in purgatory, for those who will die today, May the Lord welcome them into the glory of his kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for all of your needs and your petitions that we bring to the Father today in the very silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us together pray an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things. I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you have already come. I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Joining our voices into one. Let us lift our prayers to God our Father. Let us pray as Jesus taught. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Father of love and mercy, you know our every need. We ask you graciously to hear our prayers. We ask you to grant peace in our world to an end to that conflict in the Ukraine. For these prayers are made in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Friends, the Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, 
Remember me when you come into your kingdom.